The first thing that comes to mind when one thinks about spiders are their webs. These webs are marvels of design. A spider's web contains its own architectural blueprint and the engineering calculations to accompany it. If we enlarge the spider to the size of a human being, the web it weaves would be around 150 meters high. That is the same height as a 50-story skyscraper. If a spider were so large as to be capable of making a 50-meter wide web, the web would be strong enough to stop even a jumbo jet. So, how do spiders weave webs with these properties? In order to succeed, the spider first needs to draw up a blueprint, just like an architect. That is because an architectural structure of such size and strength is impossible without a blueprint. After the blueprint has been ready, the spider needs to calculate what loads will be placed on what areas of the web, just like a construction engineer. Otherwise, the web would just collapse. When one considers how the spider weaves its web, a real miracle emerges. The spider first casts the silk it has spun into the air, and air currents then carry it to a fixed point where it can stick. Then the construction work begins. It can take an hour or more to weave a web. The thread the spider uses is just as much a miracle as the web itself. Spider silk is five times stronger than a steel thread of the same thickness. It has a tensile force of 150,000 kilograms per square meter. If a rope 30 centimeters in diameter were made out of spider silk, it could bear the weight of 150 cars. It is also thinner than human hair, lighter than cotton, and stronger than steel and is recognized as the strongest material in the world. Steel, which is one of the strongest materials available to man, is produced in heavy industrial facilities using iron in furnaces at temperatures of thousands of degrees. It is specially designed to be highly resistant and is used in wide structures, tall buildings, and to build bridges. The spider produces a material that is five times stronger than steel, yet it possesses neither furnaces nor technology. It is a tiny creature with no intellectual ability. It is a great miracle that a tiny creature like that should produce a thread tougher than steel and erect structures using this thread in the same way as architects and engineers do. There is no doubt that this shows that spiders are inspired to weave webs and build traps. Neither is there any doubt that it was Allah, the Lord of all the worlds, who creates these creatures with these wonderful features and inspires them what to do.